I had a friend reach out to me today and ask me about the transition of living in a house with a yard to moving to an apartment where my kids now share a bedroom and we don't have a yard. If you don't know me, I'm Sam. I'm a mom of two and I'm married. My husband and I uprooted our family, came from a very small town in Nebraska, moved to Denver, Colorado temporarily. He's going to be commercial pilot. This was a complete shock to like all of our family. Back to the transition. It has been wonderful. There are so many things that have changed within our family dynamic, living in smaller quarters. And we, we did learn that early on. We've, we've owned multiple houses and every time it gets smaller, we've even lived in a camper. I just told her though that not having a yard just forces you yourself outside, which is so good for a mother's mental health, anybody's mental health, but like a mom needs to get outside, a bitch needs a break, right? But she also mentioned that she has family members who are planting seeds of doubt. I'm gonna say that again. She has family members that are planting seeds of doubt. And what totally sucks about that is we could relate. We were 100% going through the same thing when we told our families our plans, our dreams, right? It just blows my mind because we're living two different lives and I just had to accept that. Um, they don't have the same visions that we do and that's okay and the things that are concerning to them or they're scared and that's okay to be scared and i guess that has been our biggest lesson is that it is okay to be scared before making a big jump like that right everybody wants the support everybody feels like they need that support but somebody once told me that if a person is not living the life that you want to live let their concerns be a grain of salt to you that they're not yours to bear and ever since i have heard that i've been like oh my god like everybody who is talking to me telling me what they think what their advice would be you know not even i'm not even asking right <laughs> you're never asking but moral of the story is Big decisions, changes, growth, all of that is scary. And there's nothing wrong with staying in that small town and raising your family. We loved it while we were doing it, but this opportunity came and we could not say no. The other thing that was a huge shock to our family was that I'm now homeschooling our kids because again, we are only here temporarily. It makes sense for us. And that was a big deal for everybody. That's a whole different story. But again, we would not be living this life if we listened to all of that doubt. My husband would not be becoming a commercial pilot. I wouldn't be getting to homeschool my kids. I wouldn't be running a business, making money from social media and doing all of these things that I love if we listened to that doubt. So take the plunge and do it.